Extreme Sounds. I'm going to do a review and just general look over of the new Windows 8 Consumer Preview because it just looks so different. It's, it works different with the new Metro UI. So what I'm going to do is take it out of sleep, but boosting it is nearly as quick. It just doesn't show much, it just gets on with it. So press the power button. And it comes up with this lock screen. And if you had a touch screen, you'd just swipe it. It's got the date and time here and battery icon Wi-Fi. So you just swipe that up, type in your password, and you have this well it's the new start menu now. Um it's for programs you've got like tiles and uh, so Internet Explorer, you click on that one, really good this, it just pops up immediately. And it's really nice kind of graphical interface it's got. Then down here it's good because it's got desktop and that is like traditional Windows, which means you can still run all your normal Windows 7 apps and programs. Um, just like this, it's normal. You know, you've got all your yeah. It's beta, so it can be a bit glitchy sometimes. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got all your normal files, the folders, and that works really well. Uh, apart from the um, X, maximize, minimize buttons are kind of a bit, they're not smooth, they're edgy. <laughs> um, so if you want to go back to the new Metro UI, which is the start screen, you just click the start button on your keyboard. So this is like your main screen basically, on your tablet you know, this is the home home screen. And if you have more apps, you'll be able to scroll across and there'll be lots of things to do like that and have a whole list of them there. But this is, I only st installed this this morning, so it's, it's completely bare. Um, I looked and it took a, took out, it took up about 15 gigs, which is quite good, I think, compared to Windows 7. It's slightly less. Um, it's got weather here and it should load up, there you go. Maybe not, that's beta, a bit glitchy, I'll try again. Right, here we go, so it's got all the weather, you know, for regions, and charts, and lovely stuff like that. It's got um, a cool little program called Camera, and as you'd guess, it has, well, it accesses your webcam, which is good. So, it's, it's very quick, and you can change lots of settings on it, which is great. Also, you've got SkyDrive, because, oh yeah, this all links up with your Hotmail account. So, you sign in with your Hotmail, that's your login thing. Um, so, you, you're all signed into your documents and your Xbox Live. I don't have that, but, you know, you, that would all sync up or whatever. Um, photos, these little, like, photos, videos, music, these are all... Like I think they're kind of like test apps. Um, so in s instead of Windows Media Player, you'd have Music, which um, I haven't in explored that much on it. But it's I think it's just a bit slower, really. And it's just cause it's a beta. Right here we go. No, wait. <laughs> right here we go. So you'd have your music, I'm not sure why it's saying you can't sign in, just something wrong there. Yeah, if you want um, to access a menu for an app or something, you'd put your mouse pointer to the right, a little menu will pop up, sorry you can't see that, a little menu will pop up like that, so you've got settings, devices, start, share, search, so that would, that's your menu for apps like that. Right, so you want to click on a song, and I'll just check if my amplifier is on. Which, um, yeah, so you want to click on a song, so I've got this, and this will open up in the new kind of test. Well, I'm calling it a test because I haven't seen it before. It's like a new music thing for Windows 8, and it doesn't seem to want to open up. Right, here we go. Right, right. So I've just clicked off it. It is playing. So it's minimised there in a little tile. So there it hopefully is. 
popping up. Yeah, this is all beta, so it, it's just got a little bit of a problem. It's, it is fairly quick in general. It's just beta. Right, so that would normally pop up now playing, but it isn't. So we've got pause on the keyboard there. So that seems to be working. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's got it up there. So that's pause, play, volume. If you wanted to close an application, I'm sure there's different ways, but the way that I found out it's quite interesting is you put your mouse pointer to the top of the screen, and it's got like a kind of a clicky hand symbol, and you just click and drag off the screen and that's closed it and it goes back to start and if you wanted to see what apps you have open you put your mouse to the side at the top left and you've got your desktop or if you move down you've got all your other apps like this has got the that Xbox Live thing open click on that so it's still open in the background we just minimized it which is quite cool because it makes multitasking really really easy a bit like Mac, how they keep their they keep their windows open or minimized in the background, and that lets you when you want to open them again, it's just super quick. So that's all of it gone now. Um, also, you can like pin programs to the tiles. Like I've got this kind of clean up thing for Windows 8, and just seeing what that does. Um, again, I haven't got that much on it at all, but I've got recycle bin here. So that's if we're gonna open. Hopefully, maybe not. Yeah, if you want to do the traditional thing on the beta at the moment, it's really quite glitchy. Yeah, you're not responding. Yeah. Another thing is, it's all kind of linked up with a more Microsoft type thing. So, if you go to Maps, it's Bing Maps, not Google Maps. Which you'd think is quite annoying, but actually, um, it works really well, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And you see, at the bottom, you've got your options. So my location, show traffic, map style. Um, and I really like the way that they've done that. Um, like, I'm still experimenting, I don't know that much about it. But say if you wanted to open up a menu on an application, I, it seems to work if you just right click, and then it pops up with all your op options, which is good. So as Bing Maps works really well very quick and close that again. Um what else we've got mail and that's your you can link up your hotmail or your gmail and that works really well because it's just there on your desktop. And I believe if you go to the lock screen um if I can get to it or try to sleep. Yeah um if you go to the lock screen which is this. If you got an email, then it would pop up here, I think. Possibly. And you can also change the colour of the background, which is really good, and you can change like the design of it. You get your profile picture, you can change the lock screen picture. And sorry my fan's spinning up quite loudly, I don't know why. And I think it's so good that I'm gonna probably purchase it when it comes out because I love the way that it's all full screen and really well laid out like f photos like that and then I've got my Facebook photos obviously not going to show them um, and you've got people and that seems to pop up with your Facebook as well which is good if you just want to check something very quickly about having to log on to Internet Explorer so like that. and you've got Google and um, one thing that was a bit weird with the new um the new Windows 8 is that if you're on the Metro UI Internet Explorer, which is this one, when you've got the, the new kind of thing, if you use that instead of the normal um like when traditional one, if you use this one with YouTube, it tells you to install Adobe Flash, which I have, I've installed it, but sometimes it doesn't work. So if you go to my channel, we try this new video. Right, that's working, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and that's a problem. I think it works fine with the traditional one. 
which is good. Um, something else what I can talk about. Um, I think the traditional part of it, like this, is pretty much unchanged, apart from if you uh, if you connect another screen. I'll just show you what happens there. Hang on. Right, so if you want to connect another screen, you would obviously just plug it into the VGA adapter like that, and it would change like that. So you've got two displays. But if you look closely, the taskbar, you've got the taskbar there, which is really good. So it's it makes it easier if you want to multitask. So that's good. And then if you want, like on my HP. If you wanted to change displays, you'd click that, and that would pop up a normal HP thing, but you actually got it on Windows instead, um, for like options on displays and stuff. And the same with volume. I can change this by installing the real driver for it, but on volume, it can... Hang on, I'll just let you see that. On volume, it comes up with a Windows version, which is decent. I um, can't think of much else to talk about, but I really like this. It's, I think it's a lot better because it's a lot more user friendly if you think about it. If you confronted someone with that, if they hadn't used Windows or whatever before, if you had, if you gave someone that with something like that popping up, I think it'll be easier, and they'd probably find it a lot easier to use this instead because you've got. Internet Explorer. They probably pick up from the word internet. Click on that, and you've got internet. Instead, well, you have to try. Well, it would normally be a little shortcut, but it's quite hard to like double click it, and you know it's not too obvious. But this is. But you've still got all your your normal Windows 7 or Windows 8 settings on it. And it's just kind of hidden away, which is nice. So there you go. You got your system and all that Windows update. And Windows 8 is meant to be slightly slower, just a very, very slightly slower than Windows 7. But I've got both, and I think Windows 8 is slightly faster, but that just may be me because it's a fresh install, I'm not sure. But again, really, really like it. I think it's a great way forward for Microsoft, and definitely recommend it. Yeah, thank you for watching. That was the Extreme Sounds kind of review, overview of the new Windows 8 customer preview. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.